Hey guys, and welcome back. My name's Ohapel, and I thought that now that we're getting pretty far along on our Alpha 10.4 uh, PvP setup, I think we're pretty much done building, so I thought we'd go ahead and show you guys our bases, do a little base tour. I expect this video to be, you know, 5 to 10 minutes because we do have a lot of buildings that we've created. But we're just going to try to bust through it as quickly as possible if all these zombies would get out of our way. Um, this is our first base, or our, I guess our first base in this town. We didn't actually build it, but we took it over from some, from some people that placed their claims clumsily. We took it over, we took the claims out, we replaced the claims, and kind of took over their base. It's got a little greenhouse right here, three levels, a little sniper spot on the top. Uh, I'm not going to show it off too much because we didn't actually build it. First building I built in town was this sniper tower. Nothing too impressive, really. Um, but we can go up there and get a good view of our main base. So that's what we're going to go do. And it has these little wood panels, and that allows us to kind of, you know, crouch, and we can hide behind them and snipe people off from other rooftops. That, right across the way, is our main base. It's that big, ugly-looking one with the four pillars. Um, and one of the nice things about our base system in town is that we can actually get to any of our bases through our underground tunnel system. So I'll show you that real quickly. <coughs> um, stop hitting my door. So we can go down, and it takes this tunnel that's all the way down at bedrock, and we can then take that to any of our other bases. So that base is going to be to the east, right, where that home icon is, so we can walk on over there. And this is really nice, um, if we get in a combat, the game is doing that weird frame drop thing. Um, this is really nice because if somebody's trying to hunt us down in town, we can actually just take this underground tunnel, pop up over here, snipe them out of this tower. If they see us, we can pop back over on the opposite side of town and go really wherever we need. This tunnel leads all the way down to our first base, way across the way, way down here. But we don't use that one anymore, so I'm not going to show that off either. Um, that is the one, though, where I made my farm trap that I've showed on my last video. So, if you're interested to see it, you can check that out there. Here's our main base. This is the basement. This is where all our forges are. All our forges are set up, and we have stuff cooking. I guess it's not cooking anymore, but so we can have plenty of fuel. This is the main entrance. We're just going to walk out so you guys can see it. There is these little hatches to help us get across our spikes. So what it looks like from the front. We've got a wall all the way around with reinforced concrete and spikes, two doors, and then the interior wall with two more sets of spikes. It goes all the way around pretty secure. We got these spikes on the outside to keep the spider zombies from climbing up. So you head in. This is our main level. Um, this is where we let friends stay sometimes. Like, this is JD's sleeping bag. <coughs> and our just, like, these are just our chests for stuff that we don't have room for anywhere else right now, or if we just need to dump stuff off quickly, we can do that there. Got water troughs on each side, so we can have plenty of water if we ever should need it to fill up and make stew or whatever else. Then this is kind of like my apartment. This is the second level. This is where I store all my clothing and my meds and more clothing. <laughs> and this is where my sleeping bag is. We got the kitchen with our food and with our drink. This is kind of the little office corner. This is where we keep all of our tools is in this box here and all of our fuel. Um, this is our ammo box. We just got more rockets yesterday, so that was pretty good. Um, our weapon box, we've got two rocket launchers, every weapon in the game except for the pistol, the starting pistol, just because I don't like it at all. <laughs> our explosives chest, where we just keep our gunpowder and other stuff that we might need to make explosives. Then we just have our stone and dirt chest, our wood chest, and our uh, kind of specialty chest, which is metals and stuff, claims. Then we can head on up to the roof, and this is where our garden is. The garden has, you know, potatoes and coffee and blueberries and goldenrod and cotton and everything you'd need. Um, we replant them there with those chests. And we have these four little mini sniper tower things that you can hop right up and do kind of a similar deal. You can use it to head glitch out and peek over. There's a sign that Power made to taunt 
this base right here is owned by Adolf, and he typically kills newer players and stuff, so he set up that sign so that he always has to see Adolf, you suck every time he logs online. Um, and additionally, that's what these ramps are as well. I can just peek up, see who's at the front door. This is also how we get to our farm. <coughs> our corn farm. I, I consider this the garden. This is where the small plants are. This is the farm with all of our corn. Uh, more corn, corn than we're ever going to need. We actually just got a bunch of corn yesterday, too. So we are plenty set on corn. Um, then you can also see our rocket ship over there. So let's go check that out. Oh, actually, let's go to our store next. Um, on the mini-map, or map, you can see that we've also got a shop here, and we wrote it, the signs out in Redwood. we got a shop and a guest home. We're going to go ahead and head over to the shop. Because the shop, um, the, the seller side of the shop, can only be accessed through my base, so... We just take a short tunnel over, and that gets us behind this completely protected area in the shop. So we, we can make safe transactions even with people that aren't... Um, why is this block always broken out? I don't understand that. Maybe it falls? I don't know. Um, I'm going to figure that out. But generally there's a glass block here. Two. Somebody must have busted in. Huh. Okay. Well, generally there's glass across here. I also can pop this open. And then what we do is we drop our items and we pick them up underneath this little area here. This is the buyer side. They come on over and they drop their items and we trade it that way. This is where I store all of my tradable goods, which I actually need to pop some of these in here quickly. And so I keep all that stuff over here, keep the door locked. So if I want to trade, we can open it, set up the little bridge, they can come in and trade. And, and again, the reason we do this is mostly if we're going to trade with somebody who's hostile. So like, if we wanted to trade with Adolf, we've been battling with Adolf for a long time, killing him, he'll kill us, we'll kill him. And having a shop like that makes it so that he couldn't shoot us even if we wanted, to, if he wanted to. And furthermore, I always keep pipe bombs on hand when I'm doing that, and so I can toss a pipe bomb underneath that if they do decide to get hostile. So that way, it just opens up the amount of people we can trade with. So that's the shop. Now let's head on over to our guest house. Guest house is just a really modest, small house that we have made, mostly to help new players out. If somebody is like, worried about where they're going to spend the night, um, I, I, I can offer them this. And we keep just one forge, one campfire, a couple chests with like some low-level items and forge books, um, and a small garden with stuff they might need to make some seeds to make their own farm later down the line. Or just maybe get them some food to last through the night. So that's all the guest home is. Then, next up, that's our flames house over there. That little tower that's unfinished. Let's go off to our rocket ship. This is a base that we made. Or I guess not really a base. Um, but it's something that me and Power made just for fun. Just because it's awesome. We wanted something that's aesthetic. Because, I mean, it's really... I mean, it's cool to make a secure base, but sometimes it's more fun to just make something just for fun. So, that's what this is. This is a rocket ship made all out of concrete and trussing. You can go inside of it and go all the way up to the top, get a little vantage point. Um, you know, also, I guess you could use it for a sniper tower if you wanted to. But, you can see our bases from here. Our guest town, our shop. That is Noob's base uh, over there, and that is uh, Bloody's base right there. We're going to go to that next, the diving tower. Uh, but also, we put cobwebs down at the bottom of this, so you can hop on down and land safely in the cobwebs. The diving tower is our most recent build, and what this is, is it's got three different diving platforms, three different levels. The top one is almost at the... Um, game ceiling. I had to make it a couple b below the game ceiling just because otherwise it was giving me this weird error. Um, but the the idea is generally you can hop off there just for fun. You can dive into the pool. Alright, that's one thing. But we're also using it kind of for a game where while you're jumping off you throw either a pipe bomb or a stone into this basket or hole in the ground basically. And you can play games with it, you can just, it's just something to mess around with, just because at this point in the game, once you've got all the weapons, all the armor, and all the food you need, you know, you just start trying to come up with additional games. We're just going to go straight to the second and third level. I'm not going to jump off the second level, just kind of show you guys the view. Um, I believe, I'm trying to think of how many blocks this is up, I want to say it's like 80 blocks up. Ground, you can still see all our stuff, our sniper tower, and our little town. It's kind of fun, you can hop right off. 
And you can see how it works. Um, do I have any pipe bombs on me? No, but I have some in the chest. The idea is to, you know, jump off, light the pipe bomb, and chuck it. Oh boy, I accidentally lit a second one. Well, that one's going to explode midway. <laughs> um, then all the way up at the top, this is maybe another, I don't know, 100. I don't know what the game ceiling is. I read somewhere it was 250. But this is, whatever the game ceiling is, this is about 4 below it. And once you get up here, even with max draw distance, pretty much everything starts to despawn uh, or go outside the fog of war type thing. So we can use a stone, we can hop off and try to try to toss it in there. Uh Oh choke. Choke. And you can get out by hop on the glass block and hopping out. We kinda left this open for other people. We don't have it locked or anything. We usually leave these here. And even if they're not here, somebody can jump across. We leave that open, just the chests are locked. That way other people can mess with it, even if we're offline. It's all claimed, so I'm not worried about them destroying it. Um, and that's all we pretty much have for our bases. we got the rocket ship, the jumping tower, our base, our sniper tower, guest home, and shop. It's been a lot of fun to make all this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe if you did. And I hope to see you guys soon.